To you I call, for you will surely heed me, O God. Turn your ear to me, hear my words. Guard me as the apple of your eye. In the shadow of your wings, protect me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. Brothers and sisters, we're loved by God. We come to this table to offer gifts of bread and wine, to offer our very selves, and these gifts, which come from God, will be given back to us, elevated, transformed, uh, and poured out by Christ for our salvation. Therefore, let our hearts, our hearts be filled with gratitude. So, my brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. Bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on Amen. earth peace to people of good will. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You will honor the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord to his anointed Cyrus, whose right hand I grasp, subduing nations before him and making kings run in his service, opening doors before him and leaving the gates unbarred. For the sake of Jacob, my servant of Israel, my chosen one, I have called you by name, by your name, giving you a title, though you knew me not. I am the Lord, and there is no other. There is no God beside me. It is I who arm you, though you know me not, so that toward the rising and the setting of the sun, people know, may know that there is none beside me. I am the Lord. There is no other. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give the Lord glory and honor. Give the Lord glory and honor. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Give the Lord glory and honor. For great is the Lord and highly to be praised. Awesome is he beyond all gods. For the gods of the nations are things of naught, but the Lord made the heavens. Give to the Lord glory and honor. Give to the Lord, you families of nations, Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring gifts and enter his courts. Give the Lord glory and honor. Worship the Lord in holy attire. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations the Lord is king. He governs the peoples with equity. Give the Lord glory and honor. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy to the church of the Thessalonians. In God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, grace to you and peace. We give thanks to God always for all of you, remembering you in our prayers, unceasingly calling to mind your work of faith and labor of love, and endurance and hope of our Lord Jesus Christ before our God and Father, knowing, brothers and sisters, loved by God, how you were chosen. 
For our gospel did not come to you in word alone, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit, with much conviction. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. The Pharisees went off and plotted how they might entrap Jesus in speech. They sent their disciples to him with the Herodians, saying, Teacher, we know that you are a truthful man, and that you teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. And you're not concerned with anyone's opinion, for you do not regard a person's status. Tell us then, what is your opinion? Is it lawful to pay the census tax to Caesar or not? Knowing their malice, Jesus said, Why are you testing me, you hypocrites? Show me the coin that pays the census tax. Then they handed him the Roman coin. He handed to the, they said to them, Whose image is this and who, whose inscriptions? They replied, Caesar's. At that he said to them, Then repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God, what belongs to God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, today's first reading may take us by surprise. Cyrus, the Lord's anointed, Cyrus was the Persian king who conquered Babylon during the exile, thus winning freedom for the Jewish people. Isaiah speaks of him as the Lord's anointed, literally Messiah, the agent of God used on behalf of his chosen people, even though Cyrus did not know God, that is, was not in a covenant relationship with him as a member of his chosen people. Now the books of Ezra and Nehemiah recount the Jews' return to Jerusalem and rebuilding the temple in the city, showing how people, how, pro, how people appropriately repaid both God and the government their respective dues. There was no doubt, however, that God was God and no other ruler was more supreme. In today's Gospel reading, the conflict between Jews and the Jewish, rather between Jesus and the Jewish leaders continues. Today the Pharisees are in the spotlight. Enlisting the aid of the Herodians, who were supporting the supporters of the ruling dynasty of Herod the Great, and thus were loyal to Rome, the Pharisees were putting to put in, trying to put in allegiance with the government in conflict with covenant, that is to say, lawful fidelity to God. In effect, the Pharisees are playing both sides in order to trap Jesus. In response, Jesus affirms the just claims of both, to pay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. What belongs to God, of course, is everything and everyone. Uh, fittingly, we acclaim in today's responsorial song, Give the Lord glory and honor. The gods of the nations are things of naught. The Lord is King. So let's pray this day for a heightened awareness that all belongs to God. Let's render the tribute that is right. So let me now make three observations based on our readings for today. First of all, we're called to recognize God's mighty deeds performed in our daily life and to rejoice in and be consoled by God's faithfulness and to act in holiness with care for in cooperation with God's plan. Second, all life is a gift from God and we're challenged to repay that gift with the witness of our lives. And third, Christ is the way. We learn in our Eucharistic celebration how to, to love God as he does by loving our neighbor in response to God's great love for us, because God works through human hands. So let me expand upon each of these three points now for a few moments. We're called to recognize God's mighty deeds performed in our daily life, and to rejoice in and be consoled by God's faithfulness, to act in holiness with care for and in cooperation with God's plan. In 1926, Pope Pius XI instituted Mission Sunday for the whole church with the first worldwide Mission Sunday collection taking place 
in October 1927. The Mission Sunday collection is always taken up on the next to the last Sunday during the month of October. That day is celebrated in all churches as a feast of universal, sol universal solidarity so that Christians the world over will recognize their common responsibility with regard to the evangelization of the world. All of life is a gift, and we're challenged to repay that gift with the witness of our lives. In his, in his message for World Mission Sunday 2020, Pope Francis picks up on this idea with these words. Today, too, the Church needs men and women who, by virtue of their baptism, respond generously to the call to leave behind home, family, country, language, and local church, and to be sent forth to the missions, to a world not, just yet, not yet transformed by the sacraments of Jesus Christ and His Holy Church. For example, like Father Bill Ryan, who spoke to us uh, very, very recently. By proclaiming God's Word, bearing witness to the Gospel, and celebrating the life of the Spirit, they summon to conversion, baptize, and offer Christian salvation. The mission agentes, that is to say, the proclamation of the saving mystery of Christ to people who do not yet, do not yet know it or know Him, which is always necessary for the Church, thus contributes in a fundamental way to the process of ongoing conversion in all Christians. Faith in the Easter event of Jesus, the ecclesial mission received in baptism, the geographic and cultural detachment from oneself and one's home, the need for salvation from sin and liberation from personal and social evil, all is to man the mission and reaches to the very ends of the earth. Christ is the way. We learn in our Eucharistic celebration to love, as God, love God as he does, by loving our neighbor in response to God's great love for us. God works through human hands. Last Thursday, we celebrate the memorial of St. Teresa of Avila, who was proclaimed a doctor of the church 50 years ago by Pope St. Paul VI. The Pope Benedict XVI spoke about St. Teresa of Avila, also known as St. Teresa of Jesus, in a general audience in February the 2nd, 2011. And at that time, he made this point about her. Dear brothers and sisters, St. Teresa of Jesus is the true teacher of Christian life and the faithful of every time. In our society, which too often lacks spiritual values, St. Teresa teaches us to be unflagging witnesses of God, of his presence, and of his action. She teaches us truly to feel this thirst for God that exists in the depths of our hearts, this desire to see God, to seek God, to be in conversation with him, and to be his friends. One translation of a poem that St. Teresa wrote about the body of Christ goes like this. Christ has no body now on earth but yours, no hands but yours, no feet but yours. Yours are the eyes through which he looks with compassion on the world. Yours are the feet with which he is to go about doing good, and yours are the hands with which he blesses the world. Sisters, let's now make our profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. And I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. On this Mission Sunday, let us pray for the needs of the world with our hearts set on the endless kindness and mercy of God. 
for church leaders that each day we will be a work of faith, a labor of love, an endurance of hope that is ours as God's people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our national world leaders, that they will work to end systemic racism and move toward equality, justice, and peace for all, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who will be voting in the coming election, that the Spirit of God will help us recognize the critical issues before us and guide us in, implying, in applying the gospel messages to our choices, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the continuing fight to contain the coronavirus, that God will give comfort and healing to those infected and strength and determination to those fighting to contain the virus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who serve in mission territories, that God will strengthen their spirit and help them to be effective witnesses to the gospel, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who need prayers, for the requests in our parish book of petitions, for our own intentions we now remember in the silence of our hearts. For the servicemen and women whose names appear in the gathering space, for those on the St. Francis prayer chain, for the parishioners of St. Francis, and all those who have no one else to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick in mind and body, especially Carol Harmon, Mary Seismic, that they may be healed according to the Father's will, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died in the hope of the resurrection, especially Mercedes Aguilar, Maxine Hill, Deacon Joseph Testadine, Sister Senior of the Archdiocese of Washington, as well as Richard and Pat Hunt, Carol Jean Jordan, Guy Bevan, and for family members and friends who continue to mourn their passing, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we place our prayers in your care. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I want to take this opportunity to thank all of you for your financial support during this time. We do appreciate so many of you who mailed in your offertory or drop it off here at the rectory. We do want to remind you that you can also sign up for Faith Direct. If you want to do that, you can include that in the comments below. Send me an email or fund me at the rectory. I'll be glad to send you the sign of information for this. Thank you very much. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, for it is the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, for it is the divine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Grant us, Lord, we pray a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and ever to give you thanks, Lord, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so love the world that in your mercy you sent us a Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son. By his obedience, we have been restored to those gifts of yours 
that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you've created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose hand, at whose command, we celebrate these mysteries. For in the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and Recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May you make of us an eternal offering to you so we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Luke, St. Francis of Assisi, our holy patron, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Wilton, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you've gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now. now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, Amen. you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Behold, the eyes of the Lord are on those who fear him, who hope in his merciful love, to rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. This time we'll pray the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you. My Jesus, I believe that you. Are present in the most holy sacrament. Are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there. I embrace you as if you were already there. Unite myself wholly to you. And reunite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. A few announcements this morning uh, from the Haiti Committee. Just Haiti Coffee will be sold in the church parking lot for 30 minutes after the 12 p.m. Mass this weekend. Thank you for supporting the Haiti Ministry. St. Martin's Food Pantry Report. Thank you for your consistent support to St. Martin's Food Pantry, especially during these challenging times. Here are the items most needed at the present time. Canned fruit, canned soup, pasta sauce, add-ins, cookies, crackers, etc., pasta, canned vegetables, dry and sweetened cereal, meals in a can, stew, canned pasta, chili, etc., ramen, dry soup, canned beans, and mac and cheese. Peanut butter and jelly are always welcome. Pediasure for children and Ensure for adults are both requested. Baby formula, especially Similac Blue, and baby food number two, as well as baby wipes are in short supply. Excess diapers and more unusual types of formula will be made available to the Gabriel Network. Thank you. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, they may be helped by what you give in this present age, prepared for the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, for us into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen.